everyone, FPS Chazel here. So lately I've had a a weird problem where Tungle just doesn't want to work sometimes. It used to work before, and uh, I, I I don't know what exactly caused it, but something I did something to the game. I'm not going to mention it because I don't think it's what... It, it could just have been my case, but the point of this video is if you have Tungle that just doesn't want to work, everything you think everything is set up correctly, then this video may be for you, so let's get into it. Okay, so a good way to see if uh, if Tungle is working. So I got Tungle started up. Let's go. Let's go ahead and go through it. Tungle's up. I'm in the lobby. We got the green unamused face. It says the port is closed, but that's fine. This is this is acceptable. It doesn't have to be smiley. This is fine. That's how it always was when it was working. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and make make sure that our Tungle adapter is actually working properly. So you're gonna do start. I'm gonna go to the control panel here, and then we're gonna go. This is on Windows Seven. It may be different on Eight and Ten, but it should be somewhat similar to find. If not, you should be able to search for something like this. Go to Network and Sharing Center, and then this will show all the networks you're connected to. What we're interested in is in the top left. See, so this is saying Tongue right here. You want to go to Change Adapter Settings. And this will list all your adapters that you have right now. So our Tungle is on. It is connected. There is no X. Uh, we can double click it and check the status. It's sending and receiving packets, so it's working. So everything, Tungle is all set up and ready to go. So if we go back into, oh, one last final check. We want to go ahead and get to our dangerous waters directory, so we'll do that with computer. Local disk C is where mine is installed. Program files x86. I have it in Steam. Let me scroll down to Steam. Steam apps. Common. Dangerous waters. Okay, now that we're in our dangerous waters install directory, we want to open up adapters.txt here. And this will list all the adapters that uh, dangerous waters is seeing. So it is seeing our Tungle adapter with IPv4, which is what you want, and we have our IP address. So this is all good. Tungle is all set up and it is working. But now that we go into Dangerous Waters, a way to test to see if your Tungle is actually working is to host a game. Uh, this is regardless of who's actually going to be hosting, but if you host a game, it'll, it'll show what adapter it's using. So we do host, we do OK. Press, press OK here. There's no other no other connection to select. <laughs> and then our lobby will come up here. And as you can see, it, this, this should be saying Tungle IPv4 in my case, but it's saying local area connection. So it's using my local IP address here. So it shouldn't be. It should be using Tungle. So there's a fix for this. So what you're wanna, what you're going to want to do is do cancel. And uh, it, just going back one screen here should be sufficient. So we're going to go back to our network and sharing center. I closed that out earlier. You should you should keep that up. Come back here in adapter settings. What you're going to want to do is disable your internet connection here. So the only connection that's working right now is Tungle. This will force Dangerous Waters to use Tungle. So let's go ahead and start our match. <clears throat> As you can see, it is now using Tungle, so very good. But you can't now go back out and then turn on the, the internet. That's not how it's going to work. So what we're going to do is since Tungle's now adapting, all you got to do is come back into your network connections, re-enable this. This will turn back on. Cable's plugged in, identifying. All good. Come back into Tungle, and you need to reconnect. So this will do its thing. And now we are reconnected back into Tungle. And now people should be able to join your server. OK, so now if you want to join, you're going to want to do the same thing. Go back to join here. Go ahead and disable your real internet connection. Click OK here. Do that. So now we're sitting here. And uh, it, it used the Tungle adapter to get to this point. So it should now be using the Tungle adapter. So now at this point, you can go back ahead and enable this. Going to have to go back into Tungle and reconnect again. Tungle's back up and running. Uh, and now you should be able to see uh, a session in here.
So there you go. If you're having an issue with Tungle or Evolve, even the same method should work. Uh, now you have an ability to circumvent that and get your Tungle to work now. So I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. And as always, good hunting.